Welcome back to Bonus Gym. Today is March 1st, 2024. Week 5.3 Cap Routine. Let's hit it! What if I told you that you could reach close to your maximum genetic potential in a year? When are we ever going to stop listening to Science Says? It's like playing Simon Says when we were three years old. We're grown now. No more Simon Says. With this new discovery style of weight training, we are our own science experiment, where we can obtain our bodybuilding goals faster than ever before. Science Says drives me crazy. Seven billion people in this controlled study showed good results for 100 people, while simultaneously telling us that we all have different genetics. Just think about this fact. If you dare try my program, first watch the reps videos in my playlist. Week one, we will establish a baseline of weight. We will select a weight that we can do eight to 12 reps for one set. This seems to be the minimum rep range to stimulate growth for some people in a controlled study. So take that number with a grain of salt. There is a reason why week one and two are the same for the first 10 weeks, aside from adding a neck exercise on the second week. The second week will help us fine tune our personal rep range. If you are one of the few who responds to the suggested reps, then you're good to go. But continue with the second week. How you know is by consistently adding a rep every workout with every exercise. Different muscles have different needs. For example, your shoulders may respond to a minimum of 15 reps, whereas your quads may respond to 8 reps. Don't worry, there is an in-depth video in the reps playlist that fully explains this. We will be constantly battling with ourselves during the 10 weeks due to the constant change of the exercises in order. One week we can do 20 cable curls reps with a selected weight and then the next week it seems to have declined. Not to worry, just lower the weight for the next workout day. The reason for this is due to an exercise that has pre-exhausted that muscle. So don't let your ego ruin your workout. Some of us will think that we got weaker and be mentally defeated while some of us will recognize this. An example of this is during the week 3.3 midsection routine, the last exercise of the midsection focus is close grip palms up pull down, not leaning back. Yes, it engages the abs when done as seen. Then bicep curl. The previous week your bicep curl reps was max reps and you were going to add weight. Only this time you fell short. No, we didn't get weaker. The reason is that the close grip pull down performed as seen in the videos is a great bicep workout. So you pre-exhausted that muscle. Then followed by tricep exercise where you performed the reps adding one rep from the previous week goal. Then we got on the bench press and fell short again. Oh right, we already did triceps, which is part of the bench press, muscles involved. So don't get discouraged. It's all part of the process. As long as we keep a log of every workout, we will progress and that is why week one and 10 are the same. So you can actually track your progress in the 10 week cycle. Another good example of this, we do incline bench followed by shoulder press. Wow, we can't do the same weight because the reps fell short by a lot on shoulder press. Yes, shoulders are part of the incline bench press. If we want to squat safely with a lower weight, we can pre-exhaust our legs and hips by ex leg extension and leg curl followed by leg press with feet high on the plate. Then we can use a very low weight for the squat. Something that won't kill us if there is an accident. Through this workout, we don't add squat too much. If you want to do squats, you can replace leg press with squats. Though we might be missing out on a few muscles worked. Changing your foot position on the leg press will change the muscles worked. There is a lot of chatter about leg press versus squat. Well, since we don't listen to other bullshit, we do what we know works. If we aren't progressing on one of the two, then we switch it up. It's that simple. We aren't here to show off how much weight we can move. We're here to build muscular size. This workout is not about ego lifting at all. Generally, by the third section of 10 weeks, all of the machines you're using will be close to being maxed out in weight, if you're a man. For women, that won't happen. If a man and woman begin weight training at the same time, on average, the woman will be nearly half the strength of a man on many exercises, and some a quarter of the strength. Generally, legs and hips are usually half, 
whereas other parts are a quarter. Don't get discouraged, ladies. Unless you're on gear, it won't happen. You'll never look manly, so don't worry about that. You will end up with a great pair of legs and a butt and a nice lower back and abs. Yes, the line is drawn between men and women. It's just a scientific fact. Throughout the 40 weeks of training, which will total 43 weeks with a week off between each 10 weeks, it is ever evolving and changing. Yes, we can work on our weak areas on the week off without hurting anything. One thing we found in all research is that we should never repeat the same workout in the same order every week. Prior to developing this workout, we did a version of high intensity training that was the same every week. Every couple of weeks, we had to change the order because we weren't progressing, no matter what the rep range. Remember, by progress, we mean adding at least one rep every workout. We also tried the high volume workout in a couple of different ways. It always ended with muscle loss and no progress. Here we are with this workout developed to continuously shock and force adaptation. With changing pre-exhaustion exercises and multi-joint exercises for the focus muscle hitting it from every different angle, forcing an overall stimulation, it is quite exhausting. For the younger people, if you feel ambitious and think one set of the 15 exercises to failure isn't enough, do one round, then do another round. A word of caution, make sure you don't have any place to go for a while after. It takes a couple hours to be able to move afterwards. I know, I did it when I was younger. We don't recommend doing this. We say this because so many balk it one set to failure as if it's not enough to build muscle. Yet the ones clucking never try it because it hurts too much. On this channel, there's a woman doing this new and high intensity workout consistently for the past 26 plus weeks. She has consistently gained in strength and lost fat. Well, I'll let that sink in for a second. Simon says, first of all, who the hell is Simon? Second of all, didn't anyone realize that Simon says is a children's game with a design to control you? My workout puts you in control of your genetics and not someone saying Simon says. Since we all have different muscular skeletal genetics, it only makes sense that we must figure out how our own genetic needs and stop relying on this Simon says mentality. Science says, I'll tell you a secret about the science. It's a controlled study of a handful of people. So they use this Simon Says method of control to shovel their workout into you because they know that we are so lost and they seem to have all the answers. So we childishly follow blindly using Black by Science as a tool to get you to buy it. It seems that we get laser focused on the so-called facts that it worked on a handful of people that we forget. They also say we all have different muscular skeletal genetics. We don't all have our own chest now, do we? Therefore, we can't train like Arnold. Let's take special sauce out of the equation because it won't change your genetics. It won't make your bicep muscle longer or change the way it attaches. It's the fact that no matter how long you train, that you can never win the Olympia. Only a few will have that desired genetics for all muscles to win. Within this simple example is the hidden truth. If we're all different, then how is it that Simon Says workouts are going to work for everyone? In my workout plan, I give you tools and a foundation to build your house with your own. Even the foundation exercises are not set in concrete. For example, you don't like leg press? You can do squats. You don't like barbell curls? Do dumbbell curls, and so on. The only thing that matters is the basic exercise for a muscle group and order of exercises in a week. As for recovery, you'll find your limit pretty fast. Here's a good example. In a week, I do my normal workout three days. On my days off, I decide I needed to do more arms. So if by Wednesday, when I do my workout, I fall short on my reps instead of adding a rep, I know I needed more recovery time. Every workout and every exercise, you should be adding at least one rep. If not, lower the weight and do more reps until you find the sweet spot. As for recovery, if you push yourself long enough and using reps as a guide, you will know pretty fast. For example, Monday, I'm stronger, adding one and sometimes two reps. Wednesday, I had a rep every exercise and on Friday, sometimes I fall short in a few exercises. So the next week, I either lower the weight and do more reps 
or try to do less reps. In reality, Wednesday I should be stopping two reps short of failure, so by Friday I can blast out to failure and add two more reps per muscle group. But I really don't see the difference. It's six of one and half a dozen of the other. So I push to failure regardless. I look at a workout week as one workout with three sets. So on my third set, I fall short of my rep range. I look at the 10 weeks overall as a guide to my strength gains. By week 10, I have added weight and or reps compared to week one. So I know this workout is effective in building muscle because strength also translates to muscle size. Lately, I found myself very active outside of the gym, building new runs for the ducks and chickens, as well as a new chicken coop. I've lost 10 pounds in three weeks. Some of it was muscle loss too, but I'm okay with that. I will never compete, so I'm not worried. I can gain it all back in the next 10 weeks on block 10.4. I've kept my diet consistent for a 200 pound man for two months. At five foot eight inches, it's pretty stout. I do think most of my weight is mouth though, because I sure have no fear of pissing off the gurus playing Simon Says on everyone. Look, even if you're a Simon Says follower, my tools and techniques will work even for high volume Simon Says players. So you know the multi set of X number of reps, one size fits all, PPL, bro split or whatever. It doesn't matter what style of training you do. My tools will work to help you discover how your own body responds for you. Not what Simon says based on a couple of hundred people in a controlled study. My goal is to provide you with the proper information so you can be dangerous. So you don't have to play the silly game of Simon Says game. And end the silly arguments of, dude, you need to do five sets of 10 PPL. Instead, we will be talking about what works best for ourselves and how we figured it out. We can help others achieve their maximum muscular size in under a year instead of five to 10 years. Yes, with my methods, some will gain faster than others. Some people may have bigger arms or legs or chest. It's your genetics and there is nothing we can do about it. So we have to work with what we have. We need to stop listening to those who are gifted with perfect genetics and figure out what is best for our own body, from diet to lifting and even recovery. Someday we will step back and look at this Simon Says nonsense and realize that we all got trapped in it. A recent comment on a video was even defending their captor. Their Simon Says guru. Why? Because that stuff is backed by science. You know, the controlled study of a few people. So maybe you try this new program for 10 weeks. Maybe you don't like it because you couldn't figure it out. Maybe you didn't watch the reps videos. Maybe you think it's no good because it's not backed by controlled study of a hundred people. <laughs> Remember, seven billion people, and we all have different muscular genetics and size and stimulus we need. We cannot all win the Olympia. What we can do is discover what works for our own genetic needs and reach our genetic potential in a year instead of 10 years. Look, I'm 54 and it's working on my old ass. Something similar worked for me when I was 19, though I wish I knew then what I know now. Don't get mad at me for seeing the obvious and sharing it with you. Just because I found the biggest flaw in weight training and shared it doesn't mean that I'm stupid because I refuse to follow Simon. I'm not a fool who blindly follows. Einstein said, repeat the same thing over and over and expect a different result is the definition of insanity. And under a year, I have transformed my body See the pictures from 2022 to the current. 2022 loose fitting medium t-shirt, 2024 normal fitting large t-shirt. In 2022, I had more fat on me. Between late 2022 to 2023, we tried all sorts of Simon Says workouts. I watched all the Simon Says, that's when they hit me. Maybe they don't hear themselves. We all have different genetics, but we all must do the same number of sets and reps. Then they say we all must have the same amount of recovery. Then they say we all recover at different rates. My wife is 10 years younger than me and she recovers much faster than me. However, I recover faster than other men, younger than me. So if you haven't figured out by now that Simon is insane, just keep doing what Simon says. If you have figured out that Simon is insane, then give this a try. You are your own scientist. All I do is give you the forms to pull your foundation with a complete DIY instruction manual. Just remember, 
Only about 1% of us have perfect muscular genetics to win the Olympia. So, the Simon Says workouts will basically only work on 1%. Well, maybe it will work if you want to devote 10 years to find out. Or you can do it in a year. It's your choice. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. You can play Simon Says, or you can quickly figure out what works for you. Heck, you can even apply this to high volume if you want to. Though results may not be the same, good luck and let's hit it.